Hi there, welcome back to the channel. And today, a video about something I've been asked to cover by one of the viewers. That is, how do I actually power the Skoda Enyaq? Obviously, I've done quite a number of road trip videos showing me mainly on business trips, taking the car down to England and then back up here to Scotland. And on those, you've seen me using the Ionity network primarily. However, 99% of the time when I'm using the car just for normal daily life, I charge the car here at home. So back in January, I did a quick exercise where I looked at all the charging I'd done in the car over the last 12 months. And in 2023, I covered roughly 13,000 miles. And with a combination of Ionity charging, some other charging on ChargePlace Scotland, a couple on Osprey, and then the majority of my charging here at home, I'd actually spent, I think it was 319 pounds. Now that's the price on an average uh, petrol car of maybe three, four fill-ups. So obviously the savings are quite considerable, but how do I manage to do that? Well, it's a combination of a really excellent off-peak EV tariff and solar energy. So we've got an all-electric house. I've got a Daikin heat pump, which is an air source heat pump, and that provides all our heating and our hot water. I've also got a solar thermal system, which we've had for about the last 18 years and that heats our hot water in the summertime when there's enough sunshine. But most of the time, it's electricity we're using. So obviously that consumes a lot more electricity than we would do if we were using gas for heating and cooking. And therefore it's important that we get a really good deal. There are a number of innovative tariffs out there these days, time of use tariffs, which are targeted expressly at heat pumps. However, the one I've used is Intelligent Octopus Go, which is only available for electric vehicle users. And that combines uh, six hours of off-peak electricity with bonus periods when the grid is green. And obviously those off-peak hours are mainly overnight and therefore it would be difficult to use all that electricity. So what we've done is we've invested in a 17 kilowatt hour home battery system. That went in at the same time as the heat pump three years ago and it's been a fantastic saving for us. So there's actually three units. There's the inverter up top two batteries down below and then a third one down on the floor there. And that brings our total to 17 kilowatt hours of energy storage. Battery systems are obviously quite expensive, therefore the Scottish Government has got a 0% loan scheme so we can take an interest-free loan and repay it over five years. That's made it much more feasible for us to do and therefore to achieve the energy savings that we have done. So obviously we installed our system three years ago prior to the war in Ukraine and the surge in energy prices but our bills are now lower than we were paying three years ago, even with the increase we've seen in electricity prices. And when we compare notes with neighbours who are still using gas and electricity, we're paying less than they are. That's only possible because of the combined electric car, the Enyaq sitting outside, and the home battery storage. So what we do is, when we plug in the car at night, if there's sufficient excess energy on the grid, then we will be given a bonus period of uh, off-peak power, but otherwise you're guaranteed from 11.30 at night until 5.30 in the morning as off-peak power. And um, that's when we fill up the, the home battery storage. We also, early in the morning, get the heat pump running so it warms the, the house up ready for us getting up for work and going out to school in the morning. So that's the Alpha battery system. We chose that just because it was the one that was recommended by our uh, uh, heat pump installer and uh, we've had no issues with that whatsoever. And actually what we found was that there wasn't enough capacity to keep the heat pump running. Um, so what we did was we installed this extra one down here afterwards and uh, that's really helped us cover all our, uh, our, our heat pump use. So this is the heart of our solar system. It's a solar edge inverter that uh, has solar optimizers on each individual panel. So even if one or two panels are shaded, then the other panels continue operating at peak. Um, without the, uh, the individual optimizers, then one panel dropping down would drag the whole system down to the lowest level. Quite complicated, but in reality, this lot was all installed and it's fitted and then left alone. I don't touch any of this and uh, there's no need to, uh, to actually tinker with any of it at all. It just does its thing. So this is the charger. It's how we power the Enyaq. It's uh, an old unit now, it's six years old, and um, you can no longer get this particular model as an updated version out, but fundamentally it does the same job. And it's the My Energy Zappi. Um, at the time we got this, it was pretty much the only unit that worked with solar, 
but it integrates really well with the, um, the Alpha battery as well. My Energy now do their own battery systems, but uh, obviously we had the Alpha one installed. And what you can see there is now set it stop. Last time I charged the car, I put 8.6 kilowatt hours. I'm not sure if that's showing up actually, but you can take my word for it. The uh, solar system uh, on the roof is generating one kilowatt. The house is using one kilowatt because we've got the central heating running and there's nothing going back out to the grid. So hopefully that's a useful video. You can see that by combining home energy storage, solar power and a smart energy tariff, I've managed to significantly cut my running costs both for the house and for the car. So it's a great way of enjoying electric motoring and keeping your wallet happy. So whether you're looking to switch to electric motoring or you're looking to optimize your current charging setup, I definitely recommend this as a, a worthwhile option to explore. And don't forget, if you're thinking about taking this up and switching to Intelligent Octopus Go or any Octopus tariff, then there's a referral code down below, which will get you a 50 pound credit against your bill. And if you've got any other questions, don't forget to leave a comment down below. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon in another video.